You got it, you got it. Pull up, pull up, pull up a shot. You got it, you got it. Pull up a shot. Man Army. Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin John, I'm back again with another video. And today we are in beautiful Santa Monica, California. And today I'm gonna show you guys while I'm here at this lovely calisthenics park, a few of my favorite planche exercises that I did personally that helped me progress. So I'm gonna start from the hardest exercise all the way up to the easiest exercise. And if you do these exercises right, you will progress even faster. So without further ado, let's get into the first one. All right, so first things first, guys, when I train my planche, I always use either dip bars or parallel bars or even P bars on the ground. Always something that gave myself some height and also allowed my wrist position to stay neutral because if your wrist position stay neutral, personally, I was figure out that I was able to lean more and the planche is all about lean, which we'll get into later. So just keep that in mind. I'm not sure if you're training on the ground. To me, that was a bit harder, harder and I enjoy training on stuff like this. But the first exercise we're gonna talk about, and this is a pretty advanced one, and that is the handstand lower to straddle planche or even tuck planche if you're at that level. Now, a prerequisite that I highly recommend to people all the time is that you should be able to do a handstand before doing any type of planche training. That's how I went about it. And going about that way, I tend to learn that it gave me a good amount of shorter strength from the start so that it was able, I was able to progress a bit easier. But the handstand to planche, simply, you're going to go to a handstand. <laughs> then from there, lower down. That's to the planche. Straddle planche for me. I found that a lot easier than just going straight into the planche because if you know anything about exercises, you know you have negative movements and stuff. And when you work through that full range of motion from handstand all the way down slowly, you actually get a lot stronger than you would if you were to just be doing you know, just straddle planches or straddle plant swings or something like that. So remember that you don't have to come down in a straddle like the way I did. You can even start from a handstand and come down in a tuck. So let's try that. That was a bit harder given that I just did a straddle planche, but so just keep that in mind, try that exercise out. Let's move on to the second one. All right, the second exercise we're gonna do, let's call it pseudo planche push-ups. My favorite exercise of all time and the exercise I've literally been doing ever since I started doing calisthenics. So pseudo planche push-up, you guys know how to do it by now. You start straight arms, lean in to your hands are at your waist level. And you do a push-up like this, come up, right? But here's the trick. So after you're done with the pseudo planche push-ups, after you're done with your set, you want to drop set it into a pseudo planche push-up lean or a planche leans, just like this right here. So you're doing two things in one. You're kind of working the dynamic of the exercise, the reps and sets, which will also make it stronger, of course. But at the end, you're dropping to a static position to where you just hold that movement and you work even more with the front delts and that straight arm strength. So. Just keep this in mind, every single time you do pseudo planche push-ups, go into the, just the planche lean like this, all right? Keep those arms locked, keep those arms straight, even protect your scapula a little bit, keep your butt down, and it's gonna help you progress even more. And the last one that helped me progress a lot, and it is frankly the easiest, is just simply the tuck planche static hold. So the tuck planche static hold, I like doing it, once again, on a raised type of object, because I realize if you do it, let's say, on the ground, you don't get a lot of, or you gotta have a lot of uh, knee drive and uh, mobility flexibility in this area. So if you don't have that, simply it's easier to do it this way. So tuck planche, come up, straight arms, knees up like this, keep your back flat. You don't wanna be holding like a, a dip position like this. You wanna keep that butt up, horizontal back, hold it like this, all right? Now with the tuck planche, you're not gonna get as much lean as you would and a planche lean or another exercise, but it is a good position 
to actually learn how to hold it and something that I did all the time. And if you want a tutorial on the tuck planche, I actually made one like two years ago, so I'll post a card up there. So guys, there are many ways to progress in the planche exercise. And for that reason, that's why I made a full calisthenic static training program called Calistatics. Now, with this program, not only are you gonna learn the planche, you're gonna learn a handstand, you're gonna learn the front and back lever, you're gonna learn human flag, and all the basic static elements that I know you wanna do, including the planche, right? So those were just a few of my exercise. If you want a step-by-step -step plan that will tell you everything you need to do from whole times to sets, to certain exercises, to tutorials and more, check out my full calisthenics program right now. It might be on a discount, might be on a sell. I don't know, check the link down below in the description because if you're watching this, I'm sure it will provide good benefit to you and interest you, all right? So thank you guys for watching. I'm about to enjoy the rest of my time here in Santa Monica, California. About to hit up Gold Gym. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.